get started. All right, I'm going to go through a, simple, a few simple tricks and secrets here on how you can lose five pounds fast, and this is very important because once you got this stuff down, not only can you lose five pounds fast, you can lose 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds faster and easier than you ever thought possible. It doesn't need to take months or years to do this. We can do it very quickly, very easily, and very safely in the healthiest way possible. So the first thing we're going to do when we want to lose you know, up to five pounds as fast as possible, we've got to start right in the morning. The first thing you do when you wake up. So if you're eating breakfast in the morning, what you're going to want to do is obviously cut out the sugars, cut out the cereals, cut out the bagels, and you want to have what I call a high-fat, healthy breakfast. So what, the reason why you want to do this is if you're eating a bunch of cereal, if you're eating even like a healthier cereal like the uh, Raisin Bran or like the brand-based cereals that you were told to eat you know, decades ago, uh, the problem with that is your body, first of all, most of it is processed food. So it's processed, it has no nutritional value. It doesn't have any you know, vitamins or nutrients that your body actually needs. That's why it comes in a box. Um, but the other reason that it happens is because what happens when you eat the brand-based or the sugar cereals or, or bagels or muffins or anything is it immediately gets, immediately gets converted into sugar in your body. And what happens is then your body releases a ton of insulin, which is a hormone everybody eats or everybody produces. And the more carbs, the more processed carbs that you eat, the more... Uh, insulin that you release. So a lot of people, almost about 80% of people that they've found now are what they call insulin resistance, insulin resistant. And what that means is you kind of have a faulty insulin switch. So your body naturally releases insulin when you eat these foods. A lot of that insulin ends up getting stored as fat in the body. And the reason is if you're, if you're eating like a high fat food, your body doesn't release a ton of insulin. The, the blood sugar spike isn't there. But if you're eating these carbs, even the healthier ones, the all natural cereals, you know, that, you know, people are trying to market to you these days, um, you have so many sugars and so many carbs that you release just a ton of insulin and your body just continues to release it and release it. It's kind of like you have the switch, the switch turned on and it's like stuck and you can't turn it off and you can't turn it off. So you're just releasing all this insulin in your body. Your body can't possibly use all of it. There's too much sugar flooded everywhere and most of it ends up getting stored in your cells as fat instead of being used up for energy. So what I like to do is have a high fat breakfast first thing in the morning, not using those sugar based cereals, not even using the brand based cereals, the brand muffins, even the whole wheat bagels. You gotta cut all those out and you'll start losing a ton of weight quickly just by doing that one simple thing first thing in the morning. Step number two, we're going to take advantage of one of the best oils in the world, and that's coconut oil. And again, we're getting more healthy, saturated fat into our body. So the way that you can use coconut oil, and I know there's been articles about you know, how unhealthy it is or, or the negative effects of it, which are completely not true. It is actually one of the healthiest sources um, of energy of, of calories in the world. Um, and what I like to do is, you can use it a couple different ways. I like to cook my eggs in it in the morning, so if I eat eggs for breakfast, I cook them in coconut oil. So I use the pan, I don't use like the spray, the low calorie spray, the fake butter, all that kind of stuff that you know, people tell you to buy because it's only five calories or anything like that. Like it's just made up of a bunch of fake chemicals, so you don't want to use any of that. Use something like coconut oil instead. Uh, so I use that in there. If you're cooking uh, vegetables later on in the day for lunch or dinner or snack or anything, you can use it in there. Uh, and another great way you can use it is by putting it in your coffee in the morning. So if you're a coffee drinker and you've been putting sugar in your coffee or cream or, or even milk, milk has a ton of sugar and I'd cut out the milk instantly to be honest with you. Start adding in a spoonful of coconut oil in there and the healthy fats in there will help fill you up. So if you're just, you can actually have a cup of coffee in the morning and feel full. That's actually what my wife's doing right now. Uh, she's on the verge of turning 40, probably the lightest she's ever been in her life and she's drinking coffee in the morning with either coconut oil or heavy whipping cream because they are healthy forms of fat that help fill you up without you know, getting this huge insulin spike, which again is when your hormones just kind of go crazy and you end up storing a lot more fat instead of you know, burning off the calories that you're, that you're eating during the day. So coconut oil, adding that into your diet, I try to get at least two tablespoons in a day, whether I'm just taking a spoonful and eating it, which I know kind of sounds gross to some people, but I think it tastes all right and I don't even like coconut, um, or by mixing it into your foods, cooking with it, baking with it. If you're, if you're a baker, uh, do that and start using more coconut oil in your meals. You can start burning a lot more fast, a lot more fat faster and easier than ever, than ever before. Tip number three, we're going to do a fat flushing dinner. So a lot of people like to eat big dinners. They load up, again, on the, on the pasta, on the spaghetti, on things like that, and you have all these carbs in your body, and then you just end up going to sleep, and you kind of just, your body has nothing to it has no way to use them. It has no way to burn it off because you're not doing any type of activity. You're kind of just winding down. Maybe you're watching TV before bed. Maybe you're just going straight to sleep. Maybe you're reading a book or whatever, and you're not burning off any of that uh, excess you know, calories and carbs. So what I like to do is what I call I have a, a fat flushing dinner. So like one of my favorites is just having steak. Steak is one of the best 
uh, fat-burning meals you can have because it's filled with healthy fats, and it's also got the protein in there to help fill you up. So that's one of the best uh, dinners that I personally like having. I have it every single week. Um, but just focusing on the healthy, higher-fat foods, which we've all been told to avoid for years, and it's going to give you high cholesterol, cholesterol which isn't true. It's going to lead to a heart attack, which isn't, too, which isn't true, because heart attacks are actually caused by plaque buildup in your, you know, in your heart. What, what causes the plaque buildup is actually inflammation. It's not eating high-fat foods like cheese and butter and steak. It's actually from inflammation. What causes inflammation is grains. So the grains that you know, everyone's telling you to eat, the heart-healthy grains, are actually doing a lot more harm to you than good. So cutting those out and eating the fat-flushing dinners, how I call it, is one of the best things that you can do to start losing five pounds within, honestly, like five days. You can do five pounds in five days just by adding in one of these tricks that I have here for you in this video. All right, and the final tip I have for you today uses this guy, which is apple cider vinegar. Now, there's a lot of misinformation out there. A lot of people try to make this into like some miracle drink where if you drink a bunch of apple cider, apple cider vinegar, kind of a tongue twister there, uh, that you'll like naturally burn more fat. And all you have to do is just drink this stuff and you'll you know, lose weight and burn fat. And that's not true at all. So I'm not telling you that if you just drink this, you'll naturally burn more fat. It's not like a magic weight loss drink or anything like that. But here's how it can work to help you burn fat faster. So what a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to losing weight and more importantly burning fat is that your gut bacteria basically controls everything. So research is very new in this field. It's, it's, it's very new, so there isn't a lot of studies and research on it, but it's starting to come out. And the truth is you have trillions of bacteria cells in your gut. So like trillions of them, more than you can ever imagine, and it's either good bacteria or bad bacteria. So we actually both, we have both of them. And you want, a, obviously, a, a better balance of good bacteria than bad bacteria. So don't freak out because now you know that you have like bad gut bacteria or anything like that. Like It's natural. You need some of that to help balance it out. But the problem that people run into is when your bad bacteria overtakes the good bacteria. So when you have you know, the bad stuff starts multiplying and multiplying, it kind of takes over the kingdom inside your stomach. Now, how does that happen? Well, this bad bacteria feeds basically on sugar. So if you're eating high sugar foods, if you're eating a lot of high grain foods that get turned into sugar in your body, your bad bacteria is feeding on these and they're growing and they're multiplying and they're taking over. And the other thing that they feed on is artificial sweeteners. So if you're thinking you're making the better choice by going to the diet soda, well that's got the aspartame in there, that's got the sucralose in there, whatever other uh, artificial sweeteners are in there. So even though it's technically zero calorie or low calorie, your bad bacteria is feeding on that and it's overtaking your body. And that's when, even if you start eating healthier, um, you're not processing or absorbing the nutrients because your bad bacteria is taking over your gut and the good bacteria is basically get flushed out. So that's the way this guy works is if you start drinking a little bit of this in the morning, it feeds the good bacteria. It helps rebalance it so your good guys start taking over. You want the good guys to outnumber the bad guys, right? So you can do that by start doing some apple cider vinegar. So what I do is I take a tablespoon, uh, put it in a cup, and then just fill the rest of the cup with water and drink it that way because it... I'll be honest, it doesn't taste the greatest. So if you just want to do a shot of this, like go right ahead. For me, that's a little too strong for me to handle. So I usually just dilute it with water. So you can put six, eight, 12 ounces, however much you want in there. Kind of mix it up a little bit and uh, drink it down that way. It's an easier way uh, to get it in, uh, in the morning. So I do it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Actually, this is what I drink before I work out. Like I don't rely on you know, eating like a carb-based meal before I work out. I just drink some of this and just do it on an empty stomach. Uh, but the other reason why this is important is, is because when you want to lose five pounds fast or you want to lose any amount of weight and you haven't lost any in a long time, maybe you've been you know, kind of yo-yo dieting for the last five years or ten years and you've finally just reached a breaking point where you want to change, you want to make a change in your life and you decide, okay, I want to lose this weight, well, doing 20 things differently isn't going to work. You know, doing some high you know, intensity workout program when you haven't exercised in years isn't going to work because it's just going to burn you out. Completely overhauling your diet as step number one just isn't going to last. So I want you to make a change that's actually going to last. And the way to do that is by doing small, tiny little things and then building on those once they become a habit in your life. So what's one of the easiest things you can do is just drink a tablespoon of this with a bunch of water. Like who doesn't have time to do that? Who can't, you know, get that you know, concept. It's not complicated. It's not this crazy diet plan that you have to follow. It's one simple thing you do every single morning. If you do this seven days in a row, that's a new habit. That's where you start reprogramming your mind. You're like, okay, I'm making healthy choices. I'm, I'm improving my body every single day, even if it's just drinking something like this. 
you start building on it, you're building on it, you get the momentum, and then you start doing the, you know, you cut out, you know, the fatty, the, the fatty fast food that you're eating, you start cutting out the desserts that you're having at dinner. But it all starts from one simple step. The easiest thing you can do is just start drinking a tablespoon of this with some water every single morning. It'll get you on the right path, on the right track, you can start building some big momentum in your life. So again, we went through everything here. One of the fastest and easiest things you can do is just start drinking a little bit of this, or do the fat flushing dinner, or start adding some coconut oil, start eating the high fat breakfast, just pick one of these, start with that, you'll start burning fat faster and easier, and you can honestly lose five pounds in a couple days if you want to. If you enjoyed this video and want to get my new program, How to Triple Your Fat Burning Overnight for free, just click the link in the description below, let me know your best email, and I'll send it over to you 100% free, my way of saying thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, click the like button below, uh, and don't forget to comment below on anything you want me to cover in future videos, and don't forget to subscribe as well because i got new videos coming out every single week to help you lose